Robodeus MM is a robotics team formed by students from Nanyang Technological University, NTU, namely Tha and Su. The team's first international RoboCup experience was RoboCup Asia Pacific, RCAP, Tianjin Invitational Tournament 2019. The team's name back then was Robo Erectus at Rescue. Also under the same team name with other two new members, we've competed in RoboCup Asia Pacific 2019 in Moscow. In both of these competitions, we participated in Co-Space Rescue University category. Our challenge tasks were first, to navigate and find the best path towards the area where objects' spawns are located. Secondly, we need to collect objects as many as we can, within a limited time. And lastly, we are required to avoid traps, obstacles and deposit successfully at the assigned zone. Moving on. We want to discuss the problems we have faced during our competition such as car moving over the traps and losing points, car running into walls, obstacles and opponent car, and car moving in random directions in the field. We used various methods to solve such problems and you can see the finalized used methods and their outcomes on the screen as shown. While we were preparing for a match, first thing we do is to break down the big task to smaller subtasks as shown like finding the object spawn area range and the boundaries and modifying the code. Dividing them to small tasks help us to have smaller goals. So we can get motivations every time we finished a small task. If we are focusing a lot on the bigger picture all the time, the task might be daunting and depressing. We used a star algorithm to make our robot find an optimal path to move around the map. Then we made use of tools like code blocks and Microsoft Paints to do respective functions. We decided to use these tools, because for code blocks, it is open source IDE environment, free IDE solution, and fully configurable and extensible IDE with functional tools for developers. For the Microsoft Paint, it was easy for us to resize the pixels, rotate and fill up the colors accurately. This is the flowchart for our A star algorithm. It starts when the algorithm receives the current and target X and Y points of the robot, and at the end of the flowchart, a set of X and Y positions of points comprising an optimal path is obtained. Luckily, the robot performed as what we have planned and coded most of the time. But sometimes there are overshotting speed of the car resulting in the car crossing over the traps. It could be because of the inaccuracy while setting the speed for each function. However, after reviewing the code, we've reduced this problem. In conclusion, the result we get is satisfying as the robot can navigate around the map efficiently and fulfill the competition tasks. In the case when we were asked to solve the same challenge again, we could take more time to adjust the speeds to the optimum condition, so that the robot won't overshot into the traps or hit the obstacles. There are many learning experiences we got from this competition such as about the pathfinding algorithms and sensors. Since the RoboCup Asia Pacific challenge this time is fully online, we had to keep up the momentum for the competition every week despite having other commitments. This is the end of the video. Thank you, for your attention.